soul from the pit of emptiness you have redeemed my soul from death I was a hungry child I tried up a river I was a burnt out Blackened branches, Lord, you brought the springtime green of new life. Yes, you brought the springtime green of new life. Yes, you brought the springtime.
Lord, you have redeemed my soul from the pit of emptiness. You have redeemed my soul from death. You have redeemed my soul from the pit of emptiness. You have redeemed my soul from death. Thank you, Lord, as you have redeemed my soul from the pit of Hey.
place he makes its bed And he calls his people Lord, we will listen He will not keep silent Until we feel the fire again The mighty one, the Lord He calls to all the earth Sun to the place he makes its bed, and he calls his people, and Lord, we will listen, he will not keep silent until we feel the fire again. No, until we feel. Feel the fire again Let us feel the fire again Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name, bless the Lord, and bless the Lord. His holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I worship your holy name The sun
soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. And on that day, and on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time it has come still my soul will sing your praise unending ten thousand years and then forever
this city from Ephesians 1, 17 through 19. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe. Abba, we stand before your throne this morning. We come before you as one people. Lord, and we tug upon your heart. Father, I ask you for the church in this city. Father, I ask you that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you would do and release all that's in your heart to do in this city and in this region. You are the Father of glory and we give you praise. Lord, we honor you this morning in this place. And Lord, we ask you for your help. We ask you for help from the sanctuary. Lord, that you would release the spirit of wisdom and revelation on your church in this city. That eyes would be enlightened, that hearts would be open to see the glorious gospel of your son. To see your beautiful son. Father, I ask that all across this city, every congregation, Lord, that you would pour out your spirit with power. Father, I ask you for prayer meetings, for prayer gatherings, for worship events, Lord, all across this city. They would be fueled with the spirit of revelation. That they would be fueled with the revelation of the knowledge of the Son of God. That hearts would be enlightened to see Him and to know Him rightly. Father, we ask you to come and touch your bride in this city. Father, we ask you to come and touch the church of Kansas City, the church of Grandview, with power. Lord, would you release revival? Lord, would you come and cause hearts and eyes to be enlightened? Lord, we ask you to pour out your spirit in the name of Jesus. Father of glory, pour out your spirit. Increase in your presence. Father, raise up a church without mixture. That we could receive your spirit without measure, Lord. That we would be a burning and shining witness in this city. Jesus is Lord.
And in this region, the Lord, we're asking for the promises of old. We're asking for the promises of just a two or three decades ago. Lord, would you come and release all that's in your heart? Father, I'm asking that you would establish congregations in the east and the west, the north and the south, Lord, that called upon your name day and night. Lord, that you would release the spirit of glory on your church. Father, that congregations all over this city that were committed to intercession and holiness, extravagant offerings, and the prophetic ministry would arise, Lord, all across this city. Lord, that in every place in this city, incense and worship, prayer would arise to your name, Lord. Father, we ask you for the fires of revival to be poured out upon this city. Lord, we ask you for the lost and the broken, for the orphan, for the widow. Lord, for those bound up in addiction. Lord, release deliverance, release power, release light. Father, I ask for your church to be a burning and shining witness, equipped to speak and proclaim, functioning in this entire city as a kingdom of priests, offering spiritual sacrifices to your name, and going out and proclaiming your excellencies, O oh Lord. Father, I ask that you would endue your church with power from on high. Father, I ask you for a praying church in this city, endued with power, fueled with revelation of your Son in the name of Jesus. Give your spirit, Lord, liberally. Let incense arise. You have spoken your promises. Bring them forward. You said, Lord, we believe it. Now bring it to pass. We want to see the fullness. God, we ask you for breakthrough today in this city. could be seen. Send forth light to
those who would stand before this generation in this hour to bring forth the teaching of the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Praying the prayer that Paul prayed, Ephesians 1. Father, I lift before you these men and women who have chosen a career, who have chosen a ministry to break the word of God, the bread of life to a generation, to bring them into the fullness of the knowledge of God, to bring about the understanding of the doctrine and the revelation of Jesus Christ. These men and women I live before you. Father, we take the example of Paul who had an encounter with Jesus Christ. It was after he knew Christ that he could reveal Christ. After he had the encounter with the Holy Spirit, the eyes of his understanding became enlightened and he knew with whom he was bringing forth to the body of Christ, to the church of Ephesus. And he prayed that they would have that same encounter. And Father, we bring before you these professors of Bible colleges and seminaries who are preparing the messengers of the Lord in this hour, that they would have encounter with that spirit of revelation, that the eyes of their understanding would become enlightened, that they would encounter the one with whom they are dialoguing with, that they would have a living understanding of who Jesus Christ is, that when they spoke the doctrine of the Word of God, when they bring forth the history and the context of the Bible, the living Word, God, that there would be power released into your messengers, that there would be an endowment of power by the Holy Spirit. Father, there would be fruit in the lives of those who sat under their teaching, that they would respect and honor life and authority, that they would value marriage and home and family. Father, let the power of revelation be released into those that instruct so that there would be fruit in the lives of your messengers. And they would say like John did when he was confronted by the religious, that the one whom I am speaking of is among you. That there would be a tangible power of Jesus Christ, the living word, on these messengers because they have encountered him in the word and they have encountered that spirit of revelation. So I pray for the teachers and the instructors and the professors that you would release the spirit of revelation, wisdom, and understanding in Jesus' name. To you, preachers and teachers, instructors and prophets, professors, release your spirit of revelation.
the messenger would come suddenly to his temple. Father, we declare the kind of encounter in these classrooms, the kind of presence of God that brings purging and cleansing and a radical transformation just by the delivery of that living word. That as these professors speak forth the doctrine of Christ because they have encountered Jesus themselves, that the students, that the body would have a caught up experience with the messenger himself, that there would be a fire come upon their inner man and it would remove everything that hinders love. Father, no classroom will ever be the same, we declare. No set table upon the bread of life would ever be the same again. We say open heaven over every classroom, over every university that would declare the truth of the doctrine of Jesus Christ, the whole truth that includes the Holy Spirit because we cannot have the revelation of Jesus without an encounter with the Holy Spirit and accepting the Holy Spirit as we accept the Father and the Son on equal terms. One is not greater than the other. The Holy Spirit is holy. The Holy Spirit is God. And everyone who will proclaim that truth, God, we declare encounter for those that would be in their midst. We declare transformation like Paul had. You would raise up messengers empowered with truth until the end, until Jesus returns. So we pray the spirit of revelation, wisdom, and understanding in Jesus' name.
Stand 
Jesus Christ The faithful witness Jesus Christ The firstborn from death
of Christ. Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for inviting us to partner with you in prayer. We want to thank you for our great intercessor, Jesus. Thank you for the honor and the privilege of your word that does not return void. So, Father, I bring your word to you. In the last days, says God, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And they shall prophesy. And I shall show wonders in the heavens above and signs in the earth beneath. Blood, fire, and vapor of smoke. The sun shall turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Father, these are your words. We hold them up to you. And we know that you cherish your word and that you will perform it. So therefore, Father, I'm asking for a great outpouring of the Spirit. Jesus, we are a desperate people. We need a move of God in the body of Christ. Lord, there are parts of us that are so wounded and so devastated by the ravages of sin. Jesus, some of our members are enslaved. They're held captive by lies and doctrines of demons. Jesus, we need a move. We need the Spirit. We need cleansing in the body of Christ. Jesus, we need the fear of the Lord. Father, we need the understanding of truly what the fear of the Lord is. That beautiful cleansing, trembling that is so precious that it makes us run from sin. Even the thought of sin, Lord. God, we need the fear of the Lord. We need the first commandment released in our hearts. Father, will you send the Spirit? Will you pour out your Spirit, Father? Will you wash us once again? Release the Spirit of God in Jesus' name.
beautiful fire of God that transforms us into what you've created us to be. Jesus, you said you're coming for a bride without spot or wrinkle. Father, we long to be without spot or wrinkle. We long for the cleansing, healing, redeeming power of the Spirit. Jesus, will you quicken our hearts to burn with love for you, Lord? Just as Luke 17 said, as will not God sin to those who cry out night and day? Here we are, God. We hold your word up to you. And we say, you, we know you're going to do it, Lord. And we wait in anticipation. We wait, Father God, for the move, for the changing. Jesus, will you transform the body of Christ into a holy bride without spot or wrinkle, Lord. We release the spirit and power and might. We release apostolic power, Jesus. Father, release purity and revival into the body of Christ. Jesus, we say we love you and we offer you our hearts and we say have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. In Jesus' name. you would rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence, as fire burns brushwood and fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, that the nations might tremble at your presence. 
Father, we thank you for access into the very throne room of heaven. And God, we lift our cry before you, Lord. We ask that you would rend the heavens. Oh, that you would come down. Lord, you'd manifest your presence. You'd manifest your power. Father, we come and we join with your heart today. And we ask you, God, that you would pour out your spirit in power. Lord, that you would send holy fire upon your church, upon your bride in Kansas City. Lord, according to your good word, according to your good pleasure, God, that you would send the fire of the spirit. You would send the helper from on high. Lord, we call upon the name of the Lord. God, for such a time as this, you have set us here in this generation, in this time. So, Lord, we lift our cry before the very throne of grace. Lord, that we might obtain mercy in our time of need. Father, we call upon the name of the Lord for this city, for this generation. And we say, Lord, that you would rend the heavens. You would rend the heavens and come down. You would manifest your power. You manifest your presence. God, we ask you for an outpouring of the Spirit that would shake every opposition, every enemy of the cross. Lord, that you would shatter the enemy in Kansas City. Father, we thank you that for this very reason, the Son of Man was made manifest to destroy the works of Satan. So, Lord, we call upon your name. We lift our cry before your very throne, Lord. Say, oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down. Oh, that you would rend the heavens, pour out your spirit, and send your fire in the name of Jesus. Christ, God. 
God, and I pray that you would just raise up vision for a 24-7 house of prayer in San Diego, California. God, that we would begin to cry out day and night for your coming in San Diego, California. God, I pray just for dreams and visions, God, over the whole body of Christ in San Diego, God, that they would just be raised up in boldness and that they would declare your truth in the name of Jesus.
Suddenly today, they sing a new song. Today, every thought has been upon you. Suddenly, Lord, break in with power to San Diego and let your name be glorified. Glory in the church of San Diego through Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. my weak attempt 